What's good YouTube, your boy Bosco back with another video and we got some more updates from Nike Basketball for the holiday season of 2023. There's a lot to look forward to. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these sneakers, you dig? The first sneaker I want to talk about is actually not a Nike Basketball shoe, but it is an Adidas Basketball shoe, the Adidas Crazy A in the Team Orange colorway. Retailing for only 140 bucks and I think you're getting a bang for your buck because they come in an all suede upper and that suede is looking like it's high quality. These do have an EVA midsole to guarantee some comfort. The rubber outsole is equipped with the torsion system, which Adidas has been doing for a very long time. The Adidas Crazy 8 is definitely a great shoe to hoop in, indoors and outdoors, to be honest with you. Let me know if you guys see yourself picking up this Team Orange colorway in the comments below. Next up, we got some more information and new news about a few colorways of the Nike Booker 1. The first one that's dropping during the holiday season of 2023 for a retail price of 150 is the Clay Orange orange colorway clay orange ice peach and campfire orange makes up the color scheme for that one i definitely think this is pretty impressive with the orange colorway as well as the mamba print material all over the shoe i think you're going to get some good quality with this devon booker shoe especially retailing at 150 the traction pattern looks like it could be pretty decent definitely specified for indoor use and not outdoor there's also a couple other colorways of the nike booker one there's the light or with brown that's dropping during the spring of 2024 as well as an ashen slate dropping during the spring of 2024 all of these will retail for 150 bucks let me know what you guys think about the first impressions of this booker one if this is a shoe that you think you will be adding to your collection of course let us know in the comment section below Next up, dropping September 28th for a retail price of 200 bucks, is a very interesting colorway of the Nike LeBron 21 Okoya. This LeBron 21 is inspired by LeBron's daughter Zuri, made also to resemble the outer shell of an oyster. This LeBron comes in a light bone, campfire orange, blue, pink rise, and dark russet color scheme which is very interesting it does have that milky translucent outsole let me know if you guys are a fan of this colorway and of all the lebron 21s we've seen so far let me know which one you guys like the best no official tech specs have been released at the time of making this video however you can expect an upgrade from what we had in the lebron 20 which is really good let me know what you guys think are you guys excited for the lebron 21 give me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below next up we got official images finally of the nike kobe 4 pro show black mamba dropping december 26 for a retail price of 190 bucks i'm a fan of this all black upper as you can see with the folks first snakeskin accents on a toe overlay collar and swoosh logos as we talked about before the base layer takes the light suede materials with the perforations on the toe box to enhance breathability some details include the black kobe logo on the tongue then you have the legendary number 24 debossed on the heels i like this shoe a lot the color scheme even though it's all black is fire one out of ten i would have to give this a 10. do you see yourself going after this kobe for approach -o? let me know in the comment section below next up to the nike lifer kevin durant we got the nike kd3 aunt pearl dropping october 27th for a retail price of 130 bucks this shoe blends flywire, leather, and mesh materials and various tones of pink across the toe box, midfoot panel, and heel. This KD3 comes in medium soft pink and white lotus pink. So these come in two tones of pink that you can see. The darker pink shades grace the laces and inner lining. And then you have the other tone representing the Coach K Yao and Aunt Pearl and her struggle with breast cancer. These right here are pretty unique and I love the meaning behind them. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these KD Aunt Pearls. And we're gonna talk about another Aunt Pearl a little bit later in the video. Next up, drop in late September for a retail price of 130 bucks. We have the Nike Zoom Freak 5 Fossil Stone. Let me know if you guys like this color combination, Fossil Stone, Cholesterol Gold, and Alley Blaster. The shoe's upper is crafted from fossil stone leather while knitted sidewalls and mesh tongues for breathability. These have cholesterol gold accents on the embroidered logos on the tongue and heel. The details and color combinations on this shoe is definitely impressive. That deep plum tint on the enlarged check is fire. I do like the alley blaster tone on the midsole and a marble thread to give it more of an elegant regal look if I will. Let me know what you guys think about this Zoom Freak 5 and does this fossil stone colorway seem like something that you will be adding to your collection. Next up, we got a shoe I'm excited to see dropping during the holiday season for a retail price of 180 is the Nike Air Max Penny 1 Stadium Green. This Air Max Penny 1 comes in stadium green, metallic gold, white, mystic green, and blue lightning as the color combination. 
this right here is definitely on point at least by the pictures i hope once we get these in hand they look just as fire the stadium green nubuck upper is definitely impressive followed by the metallic gold hints on the swoosh as well as the back logo you can't go wrong with that man this is definitely one of the better colorways to have released of the air max penny one and like i said i hope the pictures is doing the shoe justice once these come out i'm gonna have to grab a pair at least that's what it feels like Maybe I'll change my mind, but this colorway is one of a kind. Let me know if you guys like it as much as I do, of course, in the comments below. Next up, dropping December 14th for a retail price of 180 bucks is the Nike Zoom GT Cut 2 Greater Than Ever. This colorway is definitely impressive, and the Cut 2 is definitely an impressive basketball shoe if I say so myself. These come in black, multicolored red, and anthracite as a color scheme, with black being the dominant color, and you do have some iridescent accents over the shoe, which I definitely do like. The tech specs for the shoe is always impressive with the React technology, Air Zoom strobe cushioning, and the Air Zoom unit in the heel for ultimate performance let me know what you guys think about this colorway now recently i took a trip and seen these actually in hand this one's dropping december 14th for a retail price of 180 the nike air zoom gt hustle 2 is an impressive basketball shoe have not tried it on the court yet but if you have give us the feedback let's go ahead and get into the information about this colorway this shoe is also a part of nike basketball's greater than ever lineup the GT Hustle 2 has a black, multicolored red, and anthracite color scheme. One thing I like about this shoe is that it has the engineered mesh upper, which incorporates robust layers, reinforcing the critical areas like the toe, heel, and midfoot for enhanced support. The innovative air zoom unit positioned in the shoe's base, which helps propel you a little bit more on the court. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway and this shoe overall, and do you see yourself adding it to your collection? Next up, dropping December 1st for a retail price of 210 bucks is the LeBron 21 Avalon Pearl. Now this one is very unique. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway overall. This LeBron 21 features an industrial blue, court blue, photon dust, and pink rice color scheme. What sets this shoe apart is its shiny color shifting upper mimicking the dazzling outer shell of an Avalon Pearl, which I think is really dope how they added that to the shoe. Adding details to a shoe like this will definitely make it stand out and more appealing to people to grab it and buy it when it first drops. The shoe's overall tone is blue, which I like this tone of blue they're using, covering the tongue, laces, inner lining, and midsole. Overall, I'm impressed by this LeBron 21 and it might be the best colorway that I've seen so far. Let me know what you guys would rate this from a one to 10, of course, in the comment section below. Next up, I talked about this shoe a little earlier in the video. Now it's finally here, dropping October 27th for a retail price of 170 bucks. We got the Nike KD16 Aunt Pearl. Now recently, there have been two different variations of this shoe, but I believe this is the official one that will be released to the public. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this color scheme for the KD16 on Pearl. This KD16 stands out to me like no other because of the details around the mudguard area with the detail engraved roses, the two tones of pink, of course, representing on Pearl and the Coach KL Foundation. I like the theme and vibe of the KD16 on Pearl and this colorway is not bad. Let me know what you guys think about this one, of course, in the comments below. And as I said before, there's two different variations. Let me know which one you guys like more. Next up, drop in late October for a retail price of 130 bucks we got a new colorway of the jordan luca 2. this one is coming in black bright crimson wolf gray and white as the color scheme this luca 2 like all luca 2s has a mix of new buck tpu and engineer mesh materials as you can see this has a black upper with a white midsole then you have the bright crimson accents on the tongue jordan logo as well as the outsole and one thing i like a lot about this shoe is that cement print on the ISO plate, I think that adds a whole different touch to the shoe and keeping it true to the Jordan element. Give me your thoughts and opinions on this colorway of the Luka 2 and do you see yourself picking it up to hoop in? Next up, let's talk about the New Balance 2-Way V4. This is dropping September 22nd for a retail price of 120 bucks. This is the shoe that Jamal Murray wears and I've heard pretty good things about the previous model. So I wanted to talk about this one and I hear that what sets it apart is the full cell technology combined with the fresh foam and full cell technology provides the exceptional return so there's some good bounce to this shoe let me know if you guys have owned a pair of these if you guys hooping them do you see yourself grabbing these i'm sure they come out with some good colorways i've seen some in the past and this black and white one is pretty solid give me your thoughts and opinions of course in the comments below next up we got some heat from john morant and nike dropping october 20th for a retail price of 120 dollars this is the nike ja one zombie this one's definitely giving off some halloween vibes coming in the lime blast oil green 
black, hemp, and cacao wow as the color scheme. This jaw one is constructed with a combination of synthetic leather and mesh materials. The Lime Blast upper is complemented by an oil green inner lining, tongue label, and ankle collar. Adding to the Halloween theme of the shoe, you can see zombie hands featured on the ankle collar and swooshes giving it that different Halloween feel. Let me know what you guys think about this color scheme and of all the jaw ones, is this the best one so far? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Next up, we finally have better and detailed images of the Nike Kobe 6 Pro Tro Reverse Grinch dropping December 16th for a retail price of 180 bucks. As we know, this Kobe 6 showcases the vibrant bright crimson, black, and electric green color scheme, which everybody's excited for, but just reverse. This time, you have that bright crimson all over the shoe with the electric green hints, which is something that a lot of people are looking forward to, including myself. You have a crazy graphic on the insoles as well, special box, will be some extra laces included. Let me know how much do you guys want this? What do you rate this from a one to 10? Is this the best basketball sneaker of 2023? Give me your feedback in the comment section below. As you can see for the next few weeks to months, the holiday season for 2023 is gonna be crazy when it comes to basketball sneaker releases from all brands, Nike, Adidas, Converse, Reebok, New Balance, so on and so forth. We just talked about Nike majority in this video, but of all the videos I've done previously, let me know what you guys are looking forward to the most. And for more information like this, make sure you guys subscribe. If you like this video, hit the like button, share the video so more people can see what shoes are coming up next. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Deuces.